Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we're going to take a look at some news from August and a couple of bits of lore at the end. Some mainstream media articles. We'll do the usual round starting in America and then we'll head across the Pacific and check in with some news from there. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So we'll start in Idaho from the official government website, Office of the Governor, a press release from Brad Little, Governor Brad Little. This is from August the 10th, 2023. Governor's Water Summit reveals success stories. Idaho is a national leader in cloud seeding efforts, in weather modification efforts. Other national leaders are North Dakota, California, Texas, you could probably add Colorado into that as well. So start in that bit again. Idaho also is a national leader in cloud seeding efforts that increase snowfall and mountain snowpack in the winter. Idaho's collaborative cloud seeding program involving Idaho Power, IWRB and water users has added an average of 1.2 million acre feet of water supply per year in the Upper Snake, Boys and the Bigwood and Pieta River Basins, Idaho Power officials said. Atmospheric moisture redistribution going on in Idaho. Washington State, an article from August the 1st, 2023. A parched summer is posing difficulties for Washington farmers. Bracing for the possible fallout from a low snowpack year due to El Nino, the Rosa Irrigation District is looking at leasing water and considering whether to revive a cloud seeding program. Lawmakers were told the district may be back in front of them during the next session, seeking financial help, money for weather modification. So it's important to note there, that Weather Modification Incorporated operating out of Fargo, North Dakota, the state next door to Washington, recently registered for business activities in Washington State. That was a few months ago. You'll find that in an earlier video or on the website. Links as always are in the information section of this video and along with the information shown I will put link to the areas on the website so you can get a bit more information and history of the place. China from the 4th of August 2023 China expands modern ARC multi-purpose aircraft family. China has gained constant progress in strengthening its homegrown modern ARC multi-purpose aircraft family with new members and capabilities according to its developer, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVIC. By now, the developer has delivered a total of four MA60 precipitation enhancement airplanes, weather modification airplanes, to China Meteorological Administration. Thanks to the airplane's performance in weather modification, or precipitation enhancement in this case, they have served in fields such as major event support, artificial rain and snow enhancement, and drought and flood prevention and control, according to the AVIC. In the China Daily from 8th of the 8th, 2023, explainer how cloud seeding helps vegetation in Inner Mongolia, so how weather modification helps vegetation in Inner Mongolia. That Inner Mongolia is having its weather modified. From Reuters, 14th of August 2023, the President has advised companies to impose hybrid working and urged weather modification in Greater Jakarta, saying dry weather was contributing to pollution. Weather modification includes techniques such as cloud seeding, already used in Indonesia during the dry season which involves shooting salt flares into clouds to trigger rainfall. So that was Indonesia, Malaysia, from the 9th of August, 2023. MADAs, 
Mitigation plan saves paddy farmers from losses due to dry spell. The MADA also conducted irrigation system maintenance and cloud seeding operations as needed. Weather modification operations as needed. Back across the Pacific now to Mexico. From the 3rd of August 2023, Mexico continues rainfall stimulation project to mitigate drought effects on agriculture. So Mexico continues its weather modification program. There's an image that looks like the Malaysian image that's shared quite a lot. Cloud seeding, a controversial technology that artificially stimulates rainfall, is being applied at 62 municipalities in Mexico to mitigate the effects of extreme drought. The technology discovered over 70 years ago uses planes or drones to inject silver iodide particles into clouds which attract water droplets from around them. Atmospheric moisture redistribution. This increases the chance of rainfall. CNN reports that some scientists are skeptical about the method's effectiveness, indicating that it is not a solution for drought, because you just cause a drought somewhere else. There you can see the 10 regions where the weather modification will be carried out and that the programme was started in December 2020. The government says it's shown positive results, with 40% more rain created in 2021, where 71 out of the 72 flights conducted registered rain. Up from Mexico to Kansas, the 2014 Kansas Statutes, Chapter 82A, Waters and Watercourses, Article 14, Weather Modification. You can have a further read of that if you fancy it. So a job posted by the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research, UCAR, Boulder, Colorado, paying $73,000 yearly. They'll even sponsor a work visa. The employee will set up and perform stratospheric aerosol injection simulations in CESM2 WACCM with the sectional aerosol model, Karma, using different injection materials, e.g. sulfur versus sulfuric acid, the employee will participate in model development that requires something or another. You get the picture. A bit more law, 2021 US Code, Title 15, Commerce and Trade, Chapter 9A, weather modification activities or attempts reporting requirement. In the mainstream media, Yahoo News, this is from August the 4th, 2023, White House researches outlandish plan for blocking out the sun. Substantial uncertainties exist. Tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? From the UK's MSM, The Independent, from the 5th of August 2023, some scientists want to hack the planet to cool it down and the consequences could be extreme. That also tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? Fleets of planes in the stratosphere and other geoengineering technologies, might the cure be worse than the disease? Yeah, that should probably read, might the cull be worse than the disease? <laughs> well, that was it for this time. You can look a lot deeper into the articles via the links as mentioned. I'll be back very soon. Until such time, take care, as always, and see you next time.